the mother of a man of color. Her face screwed up with pain and determination, the vessel left vacant and yet his flesh is his spaceship. Glasses hang low on the noses of white coats in amazement, the breach of her womb as if he was not supposed to make it, a transfer of energy from a source or an entity, a black youth in a world with so many enemies, conceived in the nude and brought forth to bring truth, yet systematically oppressed by the color of your flesh. They protest your progress and would prefer your mind and body held hostage. As you age, you'll understand. You'll understand I cannot hold your hand because I work two jobs. I didn't want your life to be so hard. Cold nights, no lights, no money, food spoils, turmoil around every turn. Faced with perpetuated stereotypes daily that bleed the soul and riddle the mind only to transform into a cloak of loathing and confusion that becomes cocooned inside your consciousness. He's ignorant. He's a gang member. With that hood, he looks like a criminal or a predator. With that ball cap, he's got to be a rap artist or a ball player. If he's got money, he's got to be a drug dealer. But he's definitely an unachiever of mathematics, science, time, and space. I can mother you only so long, but as long as possible. And so long as I'm alive, I will forever be your mother, and also in death. I love you more than I can describe by choice of words. Without you, my flesh is meaningless. To preserve your life, my flesh is meaningless. And when that day comes, when you're off, off into the world, the world of emotionless tyrants whose empathy knows only first and third person narratives, a world of racism, sexism, ageism, ableism, and every other capable form of segregation, oppression, and hatred imaginable, lost souls who hide in disguise, lurking on a swindler's corner, eyes that don't value life can be seen amongst the tides, but don't be led astray. Beware a fiery bigot's rage that burns in the eyes of a multitude of members amongst the city's police department, hearts darkened and easily pardoned of despicable acts against community, a cancer in every low-income arena across the globe, imbalanced and violent, lies and silence, leaving a path of damage and disconnect. But fear not. Fear not the sickening brutality to the individual whose only witness is a sewer gutter that gurgles the blood of its victim as it trickles into the dark abyss beneath the cold steel grate. Concentrate and educate. Remember you are a person of color. The image of your actions and capabilities, responses and critical thought processes has already been formulated and forecasted into the dim psyche of your oppressor who is peppered throughout your entire environment. Know how to beat them. Live above them, not beneath them. Defeat them to teach them. Life is a chessboard with a plethora of pieces, so create your own thesis and in turn come to your own conclusions. But don't be fooled by illusions, ill wills, excuses and sedatives instead of solutions. Stay true to yourself and others. Peace.